friends. Thank you for walking with me. Right now, we're just in a walk-in place. We're just warming everything up. Walking is great to do any time of the day, whether it's the start of the day, the end of the day, at a lunch break, and you kind of need to refresh your mind, do some stress relieving, that oxygen to the brain, it helps so much. It helps us in so many ways, not just physical health, but mental health as well. And many of you have heard that you need to take care of yourself first so that you can then take care of others, so we can refill our own heart mind and that we have something to give to others. So by exercising and making time for yourself, you're in turn helping those around you as well. So let's turn this low walk into a low kick to the front. So just an easy kick to the front. I'm going to do figure eight with my arms here. You can really do whatever you want with your arms. And I'm engaging my glutes when I do that front kick. So when I kick out, what I'm doing is raising and kicking, raising and kicking. So just keep that low, kick to the front. We're just keeping it low, we're just warming everything up. Move the arms. Four, three, two, one, and back to your walk. And these walks you can do in a small space. I'm in a small space here. You can do them with the kids around. You can do it with pets around. Walking is great no matter what's happening in your life. Indoor walks are a great way, no matter what the weather is like, you can always get your walk in. All right, so now I'm gonna do two to the front and two to the back. So just simple one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Hug your arms. You can lead with whatever leg suits your fancy. You don't have to lead with a certain foot. I'm not going to get worried about that. All right, two more. One more set. And back to your walk. Walking strong, my posture is strong. Core is braced, those abs are engaged. All right, and then we're going to travel that four forward and four back. All right, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Again, you can do Start with whatever legs that you fancy. Keep those arms pumping. Go do four up and four back. Three, two, and one. And back to walk. Walk strong. Keep that core brace. That posture is strong. Now, you don't want to round your shoulders, slump your shoulders. Keep your core, your abs engaged, and your posture strong. Keep pumping those arms. Keep up that knee. All right, we're going to go two to each side. So I'm just going to do a side step. One, two, one, two. That's it. I'm going to pump my arms. Do whatever you have space for. If you can, squat down just a little bit to engage those thighs and glutes a little bit more. I'm just gonna move to the side so you can see. And squat it down just a little bit. You just don't want those knees to go over the toes. All right, four, three, two, one. Back to your walk. And if you're ready, just turn that into a low jog. Again, we're trying to get that mileage in. If you're staying at a walk, just stay at a strong walking pace, a swift walking pace.
One, back to that walk. Or if you're doing a low jog. We are about three quarters of the way there. All right, now we're gonna do a box step and we're literally just gonna make a box shape forwards and backwards with our legs, okay? So I'll demonstrate just straight up and straight back. All right, keep it strong. Use those leg muscles. Brace that core, keep that posture strong. I'm just making a rectangle, I guess. It's a more of a rectangle shape than a box shape. With that forwards and backwards movement. Four, three, two, and one. Back to your walk. All right, so now we're gonna move into knee raises. So we're just gonna pick up our knees, just touching the, my hands to the top of my knees. And if you can make that a little bigger. Imagine here you're breaking something over your knee. You're gonna put some power into that movement. Brace your core, keep your posture strong. Four, three, two, one. Back to your walk or a low jog. All right, we're gonna go into those high knees again. So again, if you can start here, you can stay here. Just touching my hands to the top of my knees. Or if you can, make that a little bigger. Again, brace your core. Imagine you're breaking something over your knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the walk. If you can, turn that into a little jog. All right. Take those knees out, or those legs out. 
and we're just gonna go into a real easy hamstring curl. It's just gonna stretch out your quads a little bit. So just easy hamstring curl here. Real easy. We're starting to bring things down. We're still working, but we're doing a little cool down here. And four, three, two, one. Back to your walk. All right, now we're going to just do, take your legs out wide, and we're just gonna do simple side lunges, just real easy here, back and forth. And we're gonna stay to your right. Just stretch out that inner thigh. Put your hands on your thigh, not on your knee. Toes, uh, your knees do not go beyond your toes. And we'll just do that one, two, Three and stay. One, two, three and stay. One, two, three, hold. We're going to do one more at each side. One, two, three, hold. And one, two, three, hold. All right, now we're just going to stretch out our calves. So just take that leg behind you. I'm going to turn to the side here. Keep your heel on the floor. And just stretch out those calves. All right, then drop that knee just a bit. Get into that hip flexor. And we're going to switch sides. So again, just take your leg back. Stretch out your calf. Calf muscle. And drop that knee, get up, go onto your toes, drop that knee just a bit. You're getting right in here. Stretching that hip flexor and the quads out. Feels great. All right, thank you for working out with me today. I look forward to walking with you again tomorrow. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share so others can benefit from these free home workouts. And thank you for working out with us.